It's still 46 degrees out there. Rather nippy, wouldn't you say? Uh, you know, we were up to 62 yesterday. We thought we'd get up to 50 today, but that's that north wind that keeps bringing in that cool air. As a result, we haven't gotten out of the 40s today, so I, you, you do need a jacket heading out if you haven't been out at all. The uh, rain has been very light. We've only had about a hundredth of an inch of rain here and there, but uh, the big problem will be in North Texas, where the temperatures are colder and they're likely to get some icy road conditions. Now, we're in the 40s, 41 in San Antonio, but 33 in Dallas, and from Dallas down to San Angelo, all the way out to uh, West Texas, they're below freezing. Now, we, uh, when you start introducing moisture into freezing temperatures, well, we have problems. Here's San Antonio, here's I-35, and you can see how all of this is freezing rain. Now, that means means that it's right in that uh, range where it's 30, 32 degrees. Now, some of this will be falling as liquid, but maybe freezing. Now, not so much on the ground, but on the freeway overpasses, which are not in contact with the ground. We may be getting a little bit of ice right there. But this is I-20, and there is the big problem later tonight because we expect the snow to actually start uh, getting uh, heavier. So uh, as far south as Interstate 10, they have winter, winter weather advisories, but above Interstate 20 is where they're likely to have winter weather uh, warnings for the possibility of one to two inches of snow. They're getting a little ice out there. Now, if you need to be driving up to far west Texas, up to Lubbock, Amarillo, or maybe even Wichita Falls, tonight's not a good night. Tomorrow night, which is Thursday night into Friday, you're going to be much better because this system will be gone. But tonight's going to be kind of iffy. I'm not saying it's impassable. I'm just saying that you're going to be dealing with some cold weather and you got to drive very, very carefully. Here's the area of low pressure that's pulling up the moisture all the way from the Pacific up on top of our cold air. That's why we're getting this overrunning pattern. Heaviest rain will be from Houston to Austin and up to Dallas in terms of rain. But the snow is west of Dallas. So those of you that know, um, you know, San Angelo, Concho Valley, those areas, uh, those are the ones that are going to be getting it. Now, here's Wednesday night. Showers will be heavier out in East Texas. Not so much for us, but we'll get something. And then tomorrow morning, uh, this is when the coldest air arrives, and that's why they're expecting a little bit of snow activity out west of the Dallas area. Now, if you're going to Dallas, you should be marginal tonight. Tomorrow, it gets much better because all of this will start pulling away. As the low pulls away, we'll start picking up a northwest wind, and that will dry us out. In fact, uh, tonight, we're going to stay on the overcast side until tomorrow about noontime. I think the sun will come out, and then we're going to be seeing some nicer weather for Thursday afternoon, Friday, and Saturday. We're going to get up into the 60s with clear and cold conditions, but at least it'll be sunny. That's your seven-day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy.